on in the world just typical politics sessions trump mccabe uh trump had some new tweets out this morning yeah i get to read any of those if you just don't know like i don't mind wait for the next one it's not a problem no go ahead man i'm sure there's some people that just woke up that would like to hear them if you want to go over them and real quick uh alan i'm i'm familiar you're out there on youtube with freeway rick ross so yeah how the cia brought the drugs in to the to the black communities it's pretty sad i don't have a quick for uh trump tweets can someone out there for me please if you don't mind uh you have to give me just a little bit brother i have to go relocating another yeah, problem i can wax lyrical here i can wax lyrical for a while I can wax lyrical all day long. Where did I leave live chat? Let me dig and check in. Sorry, live chat. I have misplaced you. I'll be there with you in, there with you in a second. You back in the house, Antex? You still there, Wild? Yeah, I'm working on tweets, brother. Thanks, brother. Hey, no one. There's low chat. Jumping from pillar to post. What we got here in live chat? How y'all doing? Oh, I got a link out there. Sorry, I'm. Angel beat you to it. Thank you, Angel. Angel. Why did you take me to God? There's one. Don't you just love technology? Oh, him text to it out there in speech form. I was going to look for the link, you silly Billy. DACA is dead because the Democrats didn't care or act. And now everyone wants to get into the DACA bandwagon. No longer works. Must build a wall and secure our borders with proper border legislation. Democrats want no borders against drugs and crime. Next tweet reads, Congress must immediately pass border legislation. Use nuclear option if necessary. Wow. To stop the massive inflow of drugs and people. Border patrol agents and ICE are great. But the weak damn laws don't want them to do their job. Act now, Congress. Our country is being stolen. Boom. Well said, sir. Your tweet reads, Mexico has the absolute power not to let these large caravans of people enter their country. They must stop them at the northern border, which they can do because the border laws work. Not allow them to pass through into our country, which has no effect, border, no effective border laws. Those were all from a, roughly about an hour ago or so. And the president is open and, and busy and taking care of business. Yeah, it seems like he wakes up, man, and he's already got his fingers moving on Twitter. Yeah, I believe so, yes. Uh, one can only imagine what's happening behind the scenes up there at that level. Oh, yeah. I mean, just the stuff that we actually get to hear and see about and we talk about, you know, all day long. You can imagine what it must be like behind the the walls there. I'd love to be a fly on one of those walls. 
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Did you uh, happen to catch? You didn't catch the happen to catch any of the show there on the resi on the resignation list? Over no, there. sir. Yeah, I was, I've been over here. We uh, we accounted for some Wells Fargo's, uh, some, and as I said, Twitter, Google, and Twitter, Google, and who else was it? Was it YouTube? No, Facebook. Facebook had some multiple losses to that, like I said, in the networking in information section of the of the business. Makes you wonder how many of those are tied directly to the storm. Yeah. At the moment here, my system, everything seems to be corrupted. I've just got it back online there again. That was, oh yeah. Just scrolling through the list here now, having a look at the last latest ones from the very end, just to did it from 1st of April. Resignation and the, and the guys doing some great works at the governor. In the government section in Russia, the governor said step down. That was yesterday. So, I mean, it's pretty much up to date. And we had a notable death. Seemed to be a complication from surgery. But as I say, plenty happening all around the world. Wells Fargo popping up there on the March the 23rd. And a wife as national security advisor. We had HR McMaster step down as well. It's been long since the 22nd. It feels like it feels like forever ago that that happened, but because so many things they take to happen in the in the news, and so many instances happen of notable resignations. And like I said, the Sarkozy, Sarkozy uh, prosecution now, and to see the storm reaching out here in Europe is fantastic. No, I agree, brother. I agree, and we do. We we read this stuff and we hear about it. And uh, the twenty second, what was that? Nine days ago, and it seems like a month ago. Just so hard to keep up all the time. Yeah, I agree. It's awesome what Resignation's been able to do and keep up with that. And you know, Q told us that's something we definitely need to keep an eye on. And uh, I think that's for good reason. Yeah, uh, I was. We would never pay attention to something like that, and uh, without uh, uh, not being able to understand, on average, the averages resignations are just to have a comparable graph to show you what this is. What it's been. This is the trend and the normal machinations of global corporate You know, these averages of resignations happen about this year. But I'd say high up. I'd say the Richter shit has shifted right up off the charts. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. And uh, not just that, if you look at the sealed indictments, how much of an increase they are year over year, it's it's phenomenal. I don't have the exact numbers, but from my understanding, the sealed indictments that are normally out there you know, in any given year, are they're off the charts this year. I believe we're up to uh, 24,000. 24,000. Yep. I think as... As uh, Q alluded to as well, the numbers would be so so vastly huge that it would be an embarrassment for them. As it is, you know, not to be reporting on them, them figures. Yeah, you would think that they, they would be at 24,544, I believe, is what it was up to. And that's unbelievable to think that there are that many sealed indictments. That's not just indictments. That's just what's sealed out there. Yeah. And... Uh, even all them cases to to uh, to appear and to be prosecuted and to be I don't know whether they be broadcasted or you just be the normal machinations of the courts. It's going to be special courts to deal with all of this. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to all shake out as far as if it'll just go through the normal justice system, you know, typical jury selection type deals or how all that. And you know, of course, some of those could be uh, sealed warrants and such too. And some of those could have more than one person on them. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all kind of shakes out through the justice system. The revolution should not be televised. You're probably exactly right there. 
412, you in the house? You working or are you there? You with us? He's working. He's just listening this morning. He lurking deep, he lurking long. Yo. How you getting on with do you research? Roger that. And I just stuck back from grabbing a cup of coffee. Yeah, I kinda have a hankering to do something similar myself to you. you. Got the boom box for five or ten minutes. Who else we get there in Discord land? I'd be you and I holding down the phone. I'm still here. Where's the guess? Oh, yeah. Huh? You're on top of the arch, you ready to the script? Maybe I got the script. Everybody's looking bull on your right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Hemtex, uh, Bionic Barbie asks, when will we see a rest for those Gitmo bound? It's difficult watching or seeing something. Uh, you know, I'm with you. I agree. It's it's something that we really don't know. I think it's just going to be once the dominoes are fall, I think it'll be pretty rapid succession. But getting to that point, you know, it's kind of where we're at right now. It's a, it's a hurry up and wait, and you can rest assured as soon as we know something, we'll be all over it on here. Kathy Cupcake says, will we ever hear about the military trials? Um, I'm going to say, yeah, that's something you can hide. Yeah, especially yeah. if you, you charge somebody with, uh, you know, sedition or treason. Oh, that'll have to be front page news. You can't really put that one under the rug. Well, it's going to be global. That kind of stuff will be global. Everywhere I have to report on that. The whole world will be watching this. Somebody said, pay for you. Yeah, somebody'd make some money if that were the case. <laughs> <laughs> there won't be any globalists left to broadcast. It'll be all on, on, the, on the internet. That's where everybody will be watching. We don't need you anymore, mainstream. Pay per view, pay per view, mag. I won't say the rest of that. <laughs> Dana White, get a piece of that action. I'm feeling pretty chipper this morning, Bridget. Thank you for saying so. Thank you for noticing. Uh, the president's news or the my my Kevin Sharkey running for the president campaign. Yeah, uh, when there's a draw, it's just gonna get that conversation, it's gonna get this conversation started about numbers, up borders, exactly what president was speaking about. And there's a growing populist movement here, I feel. And twenty four seven has been instrumental in that new page in the live chat should also take your props. The more you spread, the more we talk. This movement is a global movement. And uh, I'm letting you know, here behind enemy lines, as I speak to you in a hidden underground bunker, that this movement is having a global effect. <laughs> Whiskey 44 says they will go, they will completely go broken arrow before this ever happens. Um, I think that uh, that was definitely a possibility. And I think, again, that's why POTUS um, has been moving real slow. Um, I'm sure in the background they're looking for anything that might still be missing. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, we know what they're capable of if they do go broken arrow, but we, it's baby steps to the gallows. That's all we can do because shock and awe would have broken. I'd say it'd be great. the shock and the awe of it all would have would have let them go, would make them go broken arrow five by five and that. Yeah, it's like I told people earlier, if you go just flat out crazy with uh, giving them the full red pill, man, you'd have people out in the streets just burning everything to ashes, you know, a good portion of them. Cloth for Truth, Anon says Bud feed, BuzzFeed ran an article on Q, so it's getting out. They call it conspiracy. Yeah, I'm sure they do, and here's the beautiful thing. Um, every time they point out, people actually come look and then realize that it's not. So um, hats off to BuzzFeed. Please keep running these articles um, because you're, you're just sending us more people to Red Pill. So thank you so much. <laughs> too true, brother. Too true. Like we can when we when we stop for alarm bells when when they did not hear us roar by the the viewing figures of uh, Roseanne, you know the mainstream. She rang the bell big time, didn't she? 
Yeah, there was somebody on here earlier. I haven't seen the sauce on it, but they had said that they're already renewing a second season after just one episode. So if that's true, then that tells you uh, at least they're looking for the the payoff. ABC is over that. Yeah, Child of the King has a point. Um, had to chuckle the MSM will sweep trials by an, uh, their latest fad, Stormy. Just a little more of uh, him text Grand Trino. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to try, but part of me thinks that they can't because they're going to be trying to discredit it. So I think they're going to actually have to address the, the tribunals that are going on, but they're going to try and do it from the spin of, well, they're just persecuting these poor, innocent, you know, um, uh, civil servants. Uh, they've done nothing wrong. So I'm not really sure that they can really just sweep it under the rug. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they try and spin this. Bionic Barbie asks you, will three minutes run, will we see more rest? It'll be easier to rent to the more. Roger to that. Alan Owens says the Streisand effect, bro. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, it is. And I absolutely love it. And they haven't figured it out yet. They keep running their mouths and they're, they're, they're actually going to be their own undoing. I mean, yeah, all patriots are working hard to get the word out. But you know what? Um, the mainstream media is, is our best salesman. No such thing as bad publicity. I mean, you got people like Brent Stelter, you know, on CNN running in his mouth how this whole Q thing is a conspiracy theory, basically. He's just running people our way. Friends, by the time tribunals happen, MSN will be reduced to nothing. Um, we could hope that. Um, I think they're already reduced to nothing. I mean, if you look at the, at the viewership on their main shows, at CNN, 250, maybe 300,000, and it's probably down from that. I haven't looked at it in a couple of months. So, um, you know, they're literally, it, it reminds me of, of uh, the scene in uh, V for Vendetta when uh, um, prime minister is talking to everyone and there's no one in the room. That's kind of how I see it. Oh, I agree. I agree. Trusty Rusty, him text will feed deplorable Grand Torino. Sealed indictments. Would you start from the bottom up or the top down? Bottom up. You have to rip their support networks out and then go for the big guys because you'll also be able to use the lowers. Lowers. <laughs> you could be able to use people at the lower tiers of the organization to prosecute the higher level um, offenders. Turn them. Flip, flip them over. Turn them. Yep. Get them flip state's evidence. Oh, Patrick Woods, I love this. I always call them the corpse media anymore. They're zombies. That's too good. Well, guys, I hate to do it, but I'm going to have to to get out of here and uh, get some stuff done in North Carolina. So. Brother, you have an awesome day, and we will see you when you get back. All right, guys. Take care. God bless. Thanks, YouTube. God bless. Take care, brother. Danny, uh, Danny just a news drop from the BBC Catholic Church has been desecrated for the second time after a man left the pages at the altar of the incident at St. Mary's Church, Great Yard, Norfolk, was caught on CCTV. BBC reports. Draw me a link that I'll get a link for that. Thank you for that. Four horsemen saying tribunals for mainstream media. Um, I've I've said for years that I believe that the mainstream media is is participating in a seditious conspiracy to overthrow this country. Um, will that actually will they actually face those kind of charges? I'm not entirely sure, um, but I, I I think that what what maybe the president I think because my opinion I think that maybe what the president and the Q are going for is to destroy their names to the point where, like Q has said, they will not be able to show their face in public again. Just drop the link in the live chat there for the BBC article that Danny dropped down to us there. Thank you, Danny. Trav B111 says exactly. Yeah, it's, 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 
interesting times. I always love that saying, it's the best of times, it's the worst of times. Velvet Lace, thank God, April Fool's Day is over, LOL. Yeah, I don't want to have uh, resignation and non sending me to look at Q posts that don't exist anymore. Yeah, he was being quite tedious. We had a lot more on offer, but uh, I couldn't fulfill my end. <laughs> but but uh, needless to say, there was going to be a certain, certain show, and uh, we were going to update the resignation list, you know? Uh, yeah. Nice. He doesn't mind me slagging him. It's all good. It's all in good humor. Um, you know, uh, this is a great, great group of people. Family. McKenning 51, good morning at Hemtex at Wolfly Deplorable at Gran Torino. Coffee and scone. With three of my favorite Patriots, doesn't get any better than a Monday in Central Texas. Amen and thank you. Thank you, my guy. If you want to appreciate the pops, yeah, uh, that could be that could be. Can't actually say that, but I, yeah, I said there's a strong possibility of that connection, and I do know that he is traveling here. I am aware of that. How much I could do? I'd like to get out and I report on it if I could. I don't know where he'll land or what he'll do. I agree with you, Danny Clark. Resignation does have a funny, but it's a German sense of funny. <laughs> I still have to slag him a bit. I used to live there. Love the German people. Uh, Mark Herman says, uh, prosecute him the mainstream media. Now, now that I think you're going to see happen um, because they have, the, they have actually been the ones that have ordered their subordinates, their employees, to uh, um, basically lie, bold-faced lie to the American and, and to the people of the world um, because this is a global movement. So, yeah, I definitely see the mainstream um, media owners having to, to pay for their crimes. Good morning, Patriots. Patriots sending out uh, some happy mornings in Poyo and Louise Booth. Thank you for the morning props. Welcome aboard. Go ahead there, Brewer. can terrific. No, you're good, man. I just uh, wanted to say good morning to, to you, G, and, and Will, and, and uh, all the YouTubers out there listening to you guys this morning in the car. And uh, I, uh, I agree. The, uh, the mainstream media, on they have been complicit, and in, in not just complicit, but have been active in the cabal to, to create this overtaking of the government. And so as the... As the government, uh, or as the uh, the people that were responsible for that, whether it's you know Clintons or Obamas or, or all of the above, um, as they get as the cabal gets uh, gets prosecuted, the mainstream media and the actors in the mainstream media will be part of that because they are part of that cabal. And so, as a whole, we uh, we're going to definitely see um, the mainstream media is going to be on trial uh and the actors that have been involved in this and they've you know they've been they've been active agents for the ball in order to uh to be the propaganda wing so i am looking forward to it to be honest yeah they're they're just as complicit as they're just as complicit in their sedition as the politicians you know and they as i agree with you totally the the anticipation of the prosecutions towards them and, and, and seeing their hopefully to get their full just desserts for, for the actions for decades what they've achieved and what they've perpetrated against us i uh, just want to quickly touch in with a live chat uh trying to get the conspiratorial tone here saying that what you want to hear what they say about you when they're not here so, ah, don't, be, don't be dropping that out there mm. and uh, yeah. the 4 a.m mocking points host patriots the 4 a.m mocking board talking delivered early Ties in with what you were just saying there, exactly. Yeah, Lone's Homestead says, have to remember MSM equals CIA, basically. Not even basically. Um, the CIA has admitted that they have embedded uh, their agents into every media organization. Yeah, they've, they've been a... 
they're infiltrated with CIA as, as many aspects of what we've li- uh, researched and looked into. Um, the CIA is, is pretty much, you know, in in every little corner where you find something nefarious. But um, I I think y'all know kind of my position on on the Mueller investigation, and uh, I am I am thinking that that's going to be the the, the the straw or the ten ton weight that breaks the camel's back on the main media. And when that happens, I I think they'll lose all credibility because they're um, they've been lying to their base, you know, and. Their base is very it's it's shrinking every day. But when their base finally sees the the exact writing on the wall that they have been completely lied to, uh, they will not have a base anymore. And so we'll we'll see a, an alternative media surge. Do you, do you see that in the, in the near future or the far future? As soon as the Mueller investigation completes, I think you're going to see you're going to see the destruction of that. And I, I, I would, I would look for that to be in the next month to month and a half. If it were, if I were a betting man. Really? Yeah. That's, that's soon. That's quite, it's quite short term. I think. Trust you, Rusty, uh, over here in the YouTube chats, that ex CIA running for office. Yes, I have heard that. Um, there's about, what was it? 20, maybe 20. I think it's 16, uh, former, 16 yeah, former operatives that are running for office. And I think that we're going to name and shame them uh, here shortly. Yeah, that's paramount. We need to get that information out there so people are aware. Yeah, uh, Patrick Wood says, I saw some link on the Discord how CIA has some sort of upgrade software that lets them spy on the NSA and the FBI as well. Um, that would be an interesting. Um, but I also know that they're plugged into Fairview. So they can log right in and see everything that's going on post 9 11 uh they they put everybody on one big old system that the fbi and the nsa has access to but so does the cia everything is recorded yeah i believe the cia is probably not what it has been I mean, we've still got agents that are the main. The main portions of the CIA have been uh, they have been neutered, and uh, they they are under under control from from the standpoint that um, the ones that are not cabal actors are under control. The ones that are involved with what the cabal is doing, obviously, they. Uh, they're going to fight for the bitter end because they are the uh, they're the operations unit of the call. But uh, it's uh, I mean the thing is is Trump and his team have used all of the surveillance weapons that uh, Bush and Obama put in place under the Patriot Act and then and then what all the, the different things Obama did. He's used all of that against them and he's taken it away from. Them. So I don't know how much surveillance. Uh, capability that the CIA would have anymore under uh, under what what they've done to them uh, in, in the way they've neutered them over the last uh, four or five months. I agree, Ned, yeah, I agree. Tetsuyama says, RE, the MSM, we're talking seven decades of the OSS morphed into the CIA, correct? That's absolutely correct. Dead Game says NSA has everything and has had everything for long before we were aware. Yes, that is true. Yeah, and that was my point last week when everyone was reading the, uh, I forget which uh, which blog it was that was saying, you know, that they finally got all the evidence and they're going to start arresting and indicting and perp walking people and all that. And I'm like, well, y'all better slow down because they had all the evidence for, for months. They had all the evidence before we ever even knew about you. Uh, this isn't about evidence. This is about a, uh, a a strategic dismantling in order to keep there from being chaos. And so there's not going to be, you know, this mass arrest and this, you know, this this huge operation that takes place. You're going to see pieces of this happen over over a period of time where it's just a little piece a day. And I mean, when you think about the phrase, "How do you eat an elephant?" Uh, you don't take a big old gulp. Uh, you can you cut him up into little pieces and, and, and you 
you do it one piece at a time, and that's what they're doing today. It's what they've been doing. So it'll uh, it'll it'll happen, and, and it's it's going to just one little one little string cut at a time, and that's what Q's kind of alluded to. But they've got all of the evidence. The NSA's got everything. They've already they've already just basically shut down the CIA and rolled the uh, rolled the other. Uh, duties into these other departments and and before it's over with i think we'll see uh we'll get to see exactly the the structure that 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 they had in mind but uh, our intelligence community is going to be forever changed and i think it's going to fall under military intelligence after after this is undone i agree i too i can go morning good morning g7 how are you this morning waking up with my first cup of coffee how's everybody doing this morning well, i'm just pumped to hear your voice just in time for a air sensation indeed good morning g7 i'm uh, enjoying my first cup of coffee as well good morning yeah, the other lay says, Wolfley, uh, may I recommend a read for you? It's called Silent Weapons for Quiet Wars. It's probably been a year since I've read it, but yes, that is an outstanding read. Um, so I will definitely look at that again. Everyone saying G7? And a big howdy to everybody out there. So good to see you and hear from you. See, I didn't get a good morning because all of my people are overnighters. And, and the, this group that's on a YouTube chat right now, they, they're probably going, who is this new guy? Uh, I heard you held, uh, held the fort down, was it not last night, the night before, all by yourself for a while. Yeah, um, I think from about 1 a.m. Central to 5 a.m. Central, uh, just me and me and YouTube had a very intimate relationship that night. And uh, I got to tell you, it was one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had where we just, they would ask questions. And if I knew the answers or I, I knew the topic, we would, uh, we would, we would dig in uh, and, and get those questions answered. And if we didn't know the answers or, or I didn't know the topic that well, we would all search for answers for it. And it was, it was almost like a, a small research group of, of 1,200 people uh, all working together for uh, the purpose of getting information. And, and it was just me and them. And it was, it was absolutely amazing. It was, it was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. Very good. But a few few of them sessions uh, during the Q post over the last couple of months, sometimes people would, would drop again, usually under military parlance. But when you engage with a lot of chat like that, it feels like a hive mind. I've experienced that myself on a few occasions, where the people in Discord and the live chat, when we deep dive or drill into something, it's a it's quite a phenomenal thing to see or be a part of too. Yeah, I mean, everybody was supportive, and, and uh, we were all working together. There wasn't, you know, I mean, it was it was literally Q and A time, and, uh, and and just, I mean, it was it was it was, it was neat. And, and uh, if I I would say if, if anyone in Discord has never had that opportunity to be in the middle of the night where you're the only one there, and and uh, it it's worth your time. It's worth the loss of sleep. I was for it yesterday all day, but it was well worth it. I enjoyed it. Yeah, that is great. Um, Lee Rocks 10 aj says, Ninja Warrior, and I'm good morning. I'm always here 24-7, and you are amazing, too. We enjoyed it also. Oh, I appreciate the encouraging words. Your Patriot says, good morning, She7. Willfully deplorable Ninja Warrior Grand Torino. You guys have all been excellent. Bravo, Zulu. Thank you so much. Sweet, what a nice team we are. <laughs> I'm telling you, it gets me out of bed every morning at 4 a.m. or about 3 a.m. Um, I actually wake up before my alarm, so that's always a good thing. What do you say we uh, do a Pledge of Allegiance this hour and a prayer as well? Sounds like a good idea. Five by five. 
Uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon and evening around the world, Patriots. It's pretty close to the top of the hour, and you're listening to the People Patriots Soapbox 24 7 live stream. Key storm coverage 24 hours a day on YouTube. And now let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. You put your hand over your heart, and we say this pledge here I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come humbly before you and acknowledge your mighty presence in this place right now. We know that you are the creator of heaven and earth and ask that you be with us right now during this broadcast and protect us from the evil forces that prevail on earth. We ask that you put a hedge of protection around the minds and hearts of all of those listening and researching these dark topics. We also ask that you protect the president and those around him, as well as our leaders around the United States. Please help us to be shining lights to end this corruption and stand boldly on the truth. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right.